Yeah, my puppies want to get into the video. Y'all want to get in the video? Tell them this is Rock Roller Vlog 2. Number 2. Everybody tune in. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. Check this out, y'all. For uh, Rock Roller, appreciate it. First of all, appreciate everybody tuning in, watching, you know, being a part of the progress. GSP Riders, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, because we are everywhere. But anyway, let's get to the point, though. Rock Roller Vlog 2. Today, we're going to talk about breedism. Breedism is sort of like racism, but uh, of course, it's about the breeds of the dog. And uh, people, you know, people seem to, you know, look at rock rollers like, you know, they sell this big mean, mean dog and all this. And insurance companies want to charge more for rock for you having rock rollers in your yard and your house. Um, apartment complexes don't want to, you know, let you get apartments. That's why if you're actually breeding rock rollers, you have to vet people or let people know, you know, hey, there's a strong bias against rock rollers. Don't know why, because they're the greatest dogs ever. Um, and you know, if you live in an apartment, we don't suggest you getting a rock roller because you know you really need to either own your home or you know have a, a long-term rental at a, a house or a yard. You know, because rock rollers do need their space. And uh, because I keep my dogs outside unless you know the weather permits something different. I'm in South Carolina. You know, we have pretty good weather. You live in a hotter area, like you know Arizona, Texas, or something. You might you got to have a certain type of indoor kennel. You know, so so mine. You know, we we have a of course we have a top on it, and they have their their little house with the porch, but uh, that's what they enjoy. They love they love this this space out here to be able to run around. Um, so you yeah. So if you get a rock roller, just be mindful of the area. But uh, yeah, breedism though. It's like I can't explain. It. It's like when somebody see it and they and they and they fear them, but they're not exactly even accepted into the the quote unquote bad world either. Because you you know you have the bully world, and that's what you know bully world is pretty big. You know especially in my community where I'm from. You know, everybody has a bully, some type of bully or a pit bull or something like that. Um, Frenchy, American bully, the exotics now or, 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 or the new th new thing, you know. So it's, it's breedism. You know, so you get into it, you know, you have to let people know that, you know, the qualities, dogs, you know, what makes them so great. And I also call it breedism and it's sort of like racism because, um, you know, it's, you have this, this bias, like, um, say, black people think all... Oh, Asian people look alike. Asian people think all white people look alike. White people think all Hispanics look alike. You know, so people that are not familiar with the rock wall community thinks think that all rock wallers look alike, and that's far from different, far from the truth, far from the truth at all. Matter of fact, you have different breeders that look for a certain look. So it's, I mean, it is a certain look in, in rock walls. My baby girl, for example, hey, she's nine months. You know, look at her. Look at her. I mean, she's beautiful. First of all. <laughs> And, and the sweetest thing ever. But then I got my little protector back here that he just likes to chill. But that's Paulo. Paulo don't, doesn't look anything like uh, Ava looks. Ava's uh, black and mahogany. And uh, Paulo's more black and tan. Yeah, so they have different looks. And I'm gonna break it down even more for you. You can, um, you know, you can look up my top three, my top three YouTube uh, rock roller breeders. These these are my top three. Not in no specific order, but uh, Proctor House. You check Proctor House out on YouTube. Shout out to Proctor House. Uh, look at his dogs. He has a certain look. You can tell. Um, my thing about him is I well I know specifically he like the uh, clean the cleanest look possible. And um he's like you know a solid strong looking dog, but more is like you know more fit certain certain look to it. You can tell. You can tell what he likes and the tail on. And then you look at um. A butler, Butler Kenner Rock Rollers, my guy. Been watching him for a long time. That's what actually got me started um, with the Rock Roller breed in general. When I first got my first puppy, I've been looking at him trying to figure out, you know, details. And stuff. His look, uh, no tail. He like he likes the no tail look. You can tell he likes the the bigger Rock Roller, bigger. I call it big fluffy, big house pets, nice uh, temperament. But and they both like nice temperament dogs. But one is more look like more show dog to me. That's why I, 
how I see Proctor with it. And they both import, so it's, 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 that's the crazy part of me. But they, they're rock rollers. I promise you, they rock rollers look different. They look different. They both look great, but they look different. Um, and just to look, just take a look at both of those guys. You know, check them out on YouTube. Especially if you, when you, if you have a rock roll, I definitely suggest you follow both of them. You get a lot of details on how to how to handle things, how to do things. Um, let's see, Butler's basically an open house. He's he's more the wide range. You know how how to you know how to do the wide range, bunch of land, this that and third and love because you can tell he just loves his dogs. Um, Proctor. Oh, they both love their dogs. Let me not say that. They both love their dogs a lot. But uh, and Prop is more, you know, detail orientated. So you know, the little, the little things. You know, he makes you do this, that you do that, that you you, know, you do this. Keep them fit right here. He can teach you how to, you know, how to keep your dogs fit in a small area. So you know, and keep a, you know, keep a clean environment of a small area. I have a, a small area, so you know, I, I definitely look at Prop a lot you know, for how to keep my dogs up and keep them looking, keep them looking beautiful. You know, then I have a look that's actually I have a look that's in between those, and that's what I'm working on. Of course, I just started, so shout out to my new subscribers, new followers that pay attention to me right now on this on this train from this beautiful breed. Appreciate it. So, but uh, yeah, so I have a look that's kind of in between those because I prefer dark tails, um, but I also prefer you know a certain look that's kind of in between. You know, they I mean everybody has their because Rock Rock don't even have the same colors. You know, you have the brown kind of like a reddish brown and a mahogany and then you have I mean, uh, in black and then you have a mahogany in black and then you have a tan in black i like the mahogany look or the darker look that's my that's my thing i like the lot the darker look and uh you know a smoother fur i like that you know i do like the big block heads i don't like the uh you know the, the smaller snouts i like a medium sized snout snout the Apollo has a longer snout you know but yeah you know, as I work into it, I want a shorter snout, and then I'm gonna show y'all her nice, you know, that nice mahogany look like my baby girl got here. Love it, love it. And I like my dog's temperament to be loving like this. She just loves me. Ain't that right, baby girl? Anyway, that's the wrap of our uh, vlog too, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. I'm out of here. Bow.